Let's take a look at how to create this. Be sure to check out the description for links to the footage, 3D model, and HDRI image. Begin by opening the footage in After Effects. Next, navigate to the 3D Camera Tracker tool, drag and drop it onto the footage, and patiently await the tracking process to complete. After completion, you'll be presented with numerous tracking points. Next, select three tracking points, then proceed to the Create Solid and Camera option. To transfer the camera and solid data from After Effects to Blender, we'll utilize the AE2 Blend add-in. But first, ensure the solid is aligned with the ground. Now, copy the camera data and navigate to Blender. In the AE2 Blend add-in, hit Create a Camera. Now, copy the solid data. And in Blender, select Create Plane. Next, let's adjust the focal length. and then add the clip as the camera background. Make sure to match the frame rate of the project with that of the footage. Now, switch to edit mode. Inset faces and proceed to extrude. Now, navigate to the Material Properties tab. Add a new material. Then add another material and change it to Holdout. Assign the faces with the Holdout material. Separate these faces as individual components. And drag it to the top of the stack. We're going to use it as an opener. Furthermore, we need to scale up those faces. Now, let's add the HDRI. Navigate to the World Settings, select the Environment Texture, and open the HDRI image. You can find the download link in the description. Next, head to the Shading tab to adjust the position and rotation of the HDRI image. Proceed to the Material tab and adjust the color of the plane. Then apply a glass material to the opener. Adjust the roughness and IOR settings to achieve the desired look. I've also animated the opener. Next, import the product model from the Sketchfab link provided in the description. Now, fully insert the box into the gap. Add keyframes for this action. Then animate bringing out the model and add keyframes accordingly. Next, we'll animate the rotation. Add another keyframe and follow the on-screen instructions.
Now, we need to animate the closing of the opener. Finally, render the frames. When it's finished, import it into After Effects as a PNG sequence, and you're done. And finally, I have a question for you. Which movie was the first feature-length film to use entirely CGI? Write down the answer in the comment, and if you have any questions related to today's video, feel free to ask. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.